Hey my makers, it's Lila with LB Novelties and today I'm going to be presenting to you my project for 2020. As you know this year my project was the Boss Babes of the Traveling Planner. I plan to travel throughout the country visiting several planners um, during the year. This year of 2020 I wanted to do a new fun project that I feel will be so much fun to share with you guys and it will be using the Twin Loop Planner. This is the planner I received from the Happy Planner as a Happy Planner squad member. And I just loved the look of it and the color and everything. It's beautiful. It's your year to shine 2020 Twin Loop Planner. And I knew that I wanted to make something special with this planner because you can't truly customize it like we do with our discs that we absolutely love. I'm a lover and just I adore my discs. Don't get me wrong. But I also love to accept everyone and everything. So Twin Loop is going to have an opportunity to shine here at LB Novelties by becoming the Vibe Maker Bucket List Planner. Yes, this planner will be used for accomplishing bucket list items that you Vibe Makers have shared with me and will continue to share with me during this year. I asked you guys a question on my Instagram stories about a month ago asking you what were some personal bucket list items you had that you wanted to accomplish in your lifetime. And I had so many awesome ones presented to me. And um, some of them, yes, I won't be able to accomplish because they're really amazing ones that would require a lot of savings and time and effort. But there were some that I thought, you know what, I can try that out. So I want to dedicate this twin loop to setting it up to help me plan, journal, and actually accomplish a Vibe Makers bucket list item hopefully maybe one each month, or just um, uh, process the whole concept of the bucket list through the months, depending on how large of a bucket list it is. So this is gonna be a fun planner that I will be keeping um, you guys involved in throughout the year. You'll see videos, updates on my Instagram stories and on my posts, and I want to share this with you guys and inspire you guys to become you know, those people that accomplish their dreams and goals, no matter how crazy of a bucket list you guys have. Maybe you just spend the whole year dedicating to planning it out and maybe you actually accomplish it. Or it's a fear of yours that you want it to skydive and it's something you say, you know what, when I get older, I'll do it. Why not now instead of then? So hopefully you guys enjoy the concept that I'll be sharing with you. And I'm gonna put in a clip now showing how I actually set it up and, um, start putting some little goodies in here and there'll be more videos to come on how I start showing you each spread that I work on and the process of actually planning out accomplishing your guys' bucket list items. So make sure to comment here and let me know some of your own personal bucket list items to see if I can actually accomplish it in the year of 2020. I'll ask, also make sure to share this on my Instagram stories so you can comment there as well. I can't wait to see your guys' bucket list items and hopefully I can add them here in the Vibe Maker Bucket List Planner to accomplish in 2020. Okay, Vibe Makers, now that you actually saw um, the intro of what I'm gonna be using this planner for, I'm super excited to just get it set up and just and it's uh, today I'm just setting it up kind of to get me ready to accomplish the bucket list items. This is something that you'll be seeing me plan throughout the whole year of 2020 and it's just today's just an introduction of what I intend to use this planner for and also just a setup of it. But stay tuned because I want to make this a fun adventure and I have some ideas and goals of what I really want this planner to do um, and just what I intend to show here on LB Novelties with it. So I'm super excited about it and I just love this color scheme and I love this planner. When I received it, I'm like, this is beautiful and um, I know it's not the disc that we all love, but I wanted to give this an opportunity to really showcase it in a fun way and also um, I feel like it's bringing in new ideas and new concepts to the Happy Planner and I'm a big firm believer in new things and changes and um, opportunities to you know, bring in new stuff and also um, be happy to kind of just play around with it. So um, what I will be intending the currently for, I first thought I was gonna use it to just list out this one for January, the places I like to travel and also what you guys list out as dream destinations. But I think what I'm gonna be doing now instead will be using this January section to, so every currently, I will be listing out the bucket list item that I intend to accomplish 
in the month of January. The last page is a note section. And again, since it's a twin loop, we can't add sheets to it, but I'm gonna see if I can actually add a half sheet with some washi tape so it can fold out. And this is actually gonna be where I list out all my travel destination ideas and um, just have it listed out here of just places that maybe I'd like to travel and it doesn't have to be far it could just be a city over I really haven't traveled much in the actual state of Arizona so that could be something fun and then um, also list out your guys's bucket list destinations and just see what 2020 brings for me um, so I will be showing you how I organize this hopefully I can make this work okay so I'm just bringing out my Fisker's paper slicer I love this paper slicer and I'm just gonna slice where it has the holes punched and just keep that like that and um you know what i was noticing right now too it's gonna be fun to plan in this twin loop because you can't really remove the sheet so your planner is going to have to be present in all the videos um normally when we plan in our happy planner disc bounce system we can remove the sheets and plan you know on a flat surface so this will definitely be fun and different your dance it lays flat and then I'm going to line my twin loop sheet here. So I'll make sure that looks good. Okay, good. And then I'm going to add my half sheet right on top, lining it up with the actual sheet from the twin loop. And then I'm going to fold this over. And this is the easiest way to get the washi tape on here. Since you can't honestly remove the sheet from the planner itself. All right, but did it work? That's what I want to know. Okay, it worked. All right, so I just need to trim this and I'm gonna add a little bit of washi tape on the inside to make sure it stays secure. Since I will be using this planner a lot for the bucket list items. All right, so we added our washi on this side. Just making sure it's folded in good before I add the other piece of washi. And then this actually coordinates really well with this um, spread. I didn't even see that. I like that. <laughs> So if you want to add a half sheet to your twin loop, you can. And that's a little extra sheet if needed. So what you can do as well is, I'm gonna show you, let's see if I can fold this over. All right, that works. If you wanted to have extra you know, space to write in here, just, <clears throat> just find some coordinating washi tape that goes along with the spread itself. And then you can have it fold out of your twin loop. So that's just another option. But I'm going to have this work for my travel sheet. So I'm again, I'm going to go ahead and lay this down. This. <clears throat> and I'm just going to add washi like that. And then just trim off the excess. Now, fold this over, and I have this sheet ready for me to add more to my travel section. And I can actually do this for my currentlys if I wanted to. Let me just make sure. Yeah. So I could do this for my currently as well, as long as I'm kind of coordinating this like pink tone with the washi tape, I can do that and add an extra sheet here as well. So as the time progresses in this planner, um, let's see what I end up adding to it, but here's an option for twin loop, is how you can actually add um, the hat sheet. down. And then I believe up here I want to put arrived. And I'm gonna bring out my rainbow sticker book. This is the mega sticker book. And then the reason I want to do that is I want to just use some of the colorful boxes just to kind of label here. I want to go in this section because this is the coloring of the, I think they had circle ones. I think I like the circle one right here. So we're going to put that right there. And this will be our right. Perfect. 
All right. And then I think I want to use these checklists as well. But let me get that map that I was telling you guys about. So I'm going to put out... first. I'm hoping this will fit with the uh, other map as well. So this is where I'll keep track of every place that I've been to in regards to the bucket list. So we're just decorating this and getting it set up and keeping us, you know, motivated. So I really like this one that says Life's a Journey. And this is inside the Encouragement sticker book. This is one of my favorite sticker books from the Happy Planner. That's so cool, I like that. And I really love, just saw it right now, I'm not great. these tabs. Um, I think that'd be fun to list out locations. But let me just see if there's anything in here. Oh, there's this big one. I wonder if I could fit this big one in here. We'll just trim it where the washi tape is. Oh, that looks so cool. And I did this similar concept in my travel planner, and I truly enjoyed it, um, just going through, seeing every day where the actual planner was at. All right, I love this. This sticker right here that says, give me good company and the open road. And then I could kind of maybe just do sticker icons here of like fun times. That's what I'm going to do. love how this turned out this little front sheet half sheet so it just says give me good company in the open road and it's basically just kind of travel goals and just um, cute little stickers and icons to represent traveling and then I have right here arrived life's a journey with like places I'm going to check off and I just want to add one more sticker right here and I love that it says if not now then when so let me just look for when and I think I like this one that says adventure. I can get it up here. And this is just our adventure. I don't know if I like that like that though. I feel like it's getting covered up. I think I could trim it a little bit. A little sticker surgery. It's lined up. Okay, I like that better. Cool. See, a little sticker surgery makes it work. Okay, now this section is done. I really love how it turned out. Um, I think it's going to be fun to kind of keep track of everything back here. All right, so I'm inside the encouragement one. And like I told you guys, I love this one. I love this box that says top three with three three numbers listed. Um, I think I want to use that to list out three ideas for bucket list items in the month of January. And then see which one I can actually accomplish. I'm going to add this.
start planning out my 2020 Bite Maker bucket list items. I really loved how this currently turned out. It looks really great and will have me organizing kind of my ideas and concepts and uh, listing out bucket list ideas that I want to accomplish. Fun little travel sheet section and it was really easy to add to this twin loop. So if you were planning on you know, using a twin loop, you can still add to it if need be. Um, and I can't wait to fill out your guys' dream destinations. So make sure to leave it in the comment section below and also on my Instagram post that I post up. And maybe I do end up at least going to one of these places this year, so that'll be fun. Okay, Bite Makers, you saw how I set up my planner now and it's ready to go to start filling out each weekly spread and also listing out January's bucket list items. So stay tuned for a video on which bucket list item I'm gonna to try to accomplish in January. I can't wait to see what it is. And hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, the concept behind it. It honestly is to encourage you guys to go for your dreams and goals, no matter what it is. If you really have something you want to accomplish, don't wait and push it off to another time, another day, another year. Accomplish it now. Set goals to actually get to it. It doesn't have to happen tomorrow, but if you at least put the intent on wanting to accomplish something, then that's the start. And that's just something that I want to share with you guys. And I, like I said, I just love to inspire and um, show you guys that anything is possible if you put your mind to it. So twin loop, get ready, because we're gonna have some fun in 2020. And just keep post posting any fun um, bucket list items that you might think would be fun for me to try out. I'll try my best to, to incorporate them in my planner. And make sure to subscribe so you guys can see any videos that I post up in regards to this Vibe Maker bucket list planner, as well as hit that like button. Let me know if you like this video and concept. And as always, guys, peace and love.